Hey guys, Alton here with Microgrinder Poker School, and in today's video, we're going to do a little Q&A with our poker coach on our team, George Mathis, so you get to learn a little bit about him. Enjoy. So I first found poker back in 2012. Um, sadly, it was post Black Friday, so I did miss out on a lot of the juicy um, American players in the player pool. Um, but I was fortunate enough to live with quite an accomplished mid-stakes grinder uh, during my first year at university. And he kind of helped uh, expose me to just the, the depth of strategy uh, that poker had, you know. Um, it taught me very early on that there was more to it than just getting good cards and having a gamble. Uh, these days, you can usually find me playing at the six max cash tables, uh, usually on PokerStars or Bodog. I did play live for a little bit, um, but I think when you go from playing so many tables online, so for me personally, I usually play four tables of Zoom, um, even eight when the rake back was good back on stars. Um, I think when you go from playing so many tables like that, live just seems a little bit too slow paced, you know, particularly because you're usually playing nine handed um, and you're playing one table, you know, you can't multi table uh, live. So yeah, uh, usually playing online. I began taking poker seriously, I think when I purchased Poker Tracker. So that was about six months after being introduced to the game. I think having that kind of accountability where your results are in a graph in front of you, that motivated me to really step my game up because I wanted a nice positive green upswing uh, in front of me like I had seen on a lot of my friends' graphs. Uh, I think my proudest achievement was probably when I moved up to 100 NL from the first time. Uh, given that I had moved up the stakes right from 2 NL and just grinded my way up uh, through to 5, 10, 25 and 50 up to 100, I think when I finally made uh, that move up to kind of the low stakes out of the micros, it felt really good, uh, especially because uh, for Poker Tracker. I think I had the small stakes variation, um, which only supports games up to 50 NL, I think. And so when I moved up to 100 NL to keep my HUD, I needed to get the kind of poker tracker regular version. Uh, and I think that was probably the happiest software purchase of my life. Um, I guess the other achievement I think that I'm most proud of is uh, when I made Supernova on PokerStars. Um, that was back in 20 prior to the kind of stars chests uh, introduction uh, when I think Supernova was a hundred thousand VPPs uh, to get the status and so given that I think I was playing 25 NL and 50 NL back then it was a lot of volume uh, to make that and so I think getting that title and enjoying the rake back rewards as a result was like a really nice um, sort of confirmation of all the progress I had made in terms of volume back in So I began coaching others in quite a casual setting, um, similar to how I learned from my flatmate back in first year at university. I then introduced a lot of my friends back home to poker. Um, so coaching began like that, you know, just teaching friends. Um, but in 2016, I joined Upswing. Uh, I began writing strategy articles for them. I also did work for Card Player Magazine. Uh, I've written some pieces for them. And I've also done some work uh, for Poker VIP. And obviously now, uh, I've joined Microgrinder. Uh, I think my speciality generally comes when I'm doing private uh, coaching. I enjoy that the most because I think I can do a lot more kind of specific analysis. Uh, I enjoy looking at players' individual databases and watching them play um, in whatever games they're playing in. Because I think generally, um, at the micro stakes, there are obviously a lot of weaker players um, with a lot of leaks which can be exploited and I really enjoy kind of targeting the specific uh, exploits you can make versus player pools given the games they're playing um, and I find it really satisfying taking an individual player um, 
looking at their database, finding adjustments they need to make and turning that around and you know, watching their results change. It's, it's something that's really rewarding. Now, I think my main goal in providing coaching is just to give back to a community which personally gave me so much. Um, I really valued training sites like Run It Once uh, and things like that when I was coming up. And if I can just give a fraction of the value that I gained as I was coming up and struggling through the micros, I would be extremely happy. Um, so outside of poker, I have uh, an academic background in writing. Um, so I do enjoy the occasional freelance writing gig uh, just to kind of satisfy my creative appetite. Um, other than poker, I'm looking to get in into a career in cybersecurity. Uh, which I guess in some ways has some similarities, you know, uh, you're looking for exploits uh, and you're looking to patch leaks, I guess, uh, in defense to, pre to prevent uh, prevent yourself getting exploited by hackers and stuff like that. So I do, uh, I do find the strategic element in that career something really interesting that I'm looking to pursue in the future. Um, in terms of hobbies outside of poker, I'm definitely a bit of a video game junkie, uh, probably more than I should be. I play a lot of Overwatch, um, a lot of StarCraft, less so now because I, I find StarCraft to be a game which is just so intense um, and I usually like to play video games as like a, a way to relax and StarCraft is definitely, if, if you've played StarCraft you know it's anything but relaxing. Um, I really love MMA, I'm really passionate about both watching and training it. Uh, I did a lot of kickboxing at university and now I'm kind of falling in love with the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu kind of things. Uh, my favourite thing about poker is definitely just the wealth of strategy um, and just watching the meta change over the years. So even though I joined it I guess fairly late in terms of the evolution of strategy, like I started playing in 2012 and by that point I think it's fair to say players somewhat knew what they were doing you know it's not like back in kind of like 2004 2005 money maker era where there was all sorts of nonsense going on um, I've I've even now seeing strategy evolve um, with the development of solvers like uh, PO solver um, and poker snowy I just find that so interesting um, and to see a game that has been studied so much still progress and still not be solved. Um, that's something that I've just always found really exciting. Um, I've always had a love for strategy games, whether it be RTSs like StarCraft um, prior, StarCraft um, prior to poker. Uh, I think the just the kind of depth um, of, of strategy is really what has pulled me and keeps me attached to the game. Well, I hope that you guys liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you guys are interested in getting started with Microgrinder Poker School, you can enroll in our monthly subscription plan for as little as $1. Yep, only $1. Just click that link down below to get started. And I'll see you guys at our next video. Take care and have an awesome day.